you're picking out water balloons. There are three color options and two size options. If you randomly pick the color and size, which of these tables can be used to find the probability of an outcome? Each row represents one outcome. So let's see, table A right over here. So it says, look, I could pick one of three colors, green, orange, or yellow. And if I pick green, I could either have green and large or green and small. So those are the two possible size options for this color. Then the second color, orange, I have the two possible size options, orange large, orange small. Then for the third color, yellow, I have the two possible size options, yellow large, yellow small. So this does seem to be useful for representing the probability of an outcome. These are all of the possible outcomes that I could have if I randomly pick a color and size. So if someone says, hey, what's the probability that when you randomly pick color and size that you get a large orange water balloon? Well, large orange is one out of these six outcomes right over here. So this seems very useful. So I'll say table A definitely applies. Let's look at table B. So I could either have a green large, and let's see if they have another green entry here, because for every color, they should have two sizes. So green large, and they should be two different sizes. Green large and green small. OK, so they, the green, they have both size options. For orange, they have large, and then they have orange small. So for orange, they have two size options. Yellow large, yellow small. So it really seems like they have all of the same outcomes as table A right over here. It's just written in a different order. So this one seems just as legitimate. What's the probability that you have a large orange? Well, large orange is one out of six equal outcomes right over here. So this one also applies.